Good evening, boys and girls. It's Dennis from Dennis World of Party Building. So the week is over, but the news are not over. <laughs> so I just thought about doing a video about Chris Bumstead and his little, not not a beef, but a little interaction with Phil Heath's comment on the classic physique division. So Phil Heath made a video and it was out on YouTube, it's still out on YouTube, where he talked about the classic physique division. Um, let's summarize that, and he said that there are weekend, it's for weekend warrior athletes uh, who still want to play ball at weekends with friends, and no real desire, no real genetics, you know, not that good genetics, and guys from, or guys from other sports, sports that are retiring on their original sports so let's say you were a basketball player and now you're going to retire but you still want to be active in sports so you'll switch into classic physique because they're not that big like the open guys and he also said that a lot of the classic physique athletes will end up in open in the open division and as a result Chris Bumstead posted a picture of him recently, which got over 50,000 likes. So, you know, it, his message was basically, it, it was a clear message without even speaking or something. It was He just put out this amazing shot of him and the hashtag was Weekend Warrior. So basically he was saying like, okay, this is how a Weekend Warrior looks like. And... People, you know, Phil Heath also made a comment on the, you know, he did that hashtag Weekend Warrior and then um, Chris Bumstead himself comment, no, Phil Heath himself commented on his picture and I knew that I may not find the comment or Phil Heath will delete it or something, so I made some screenshots and right now I'm looking to my phone and I will read you out what Phil Heath wrote. And I wrote something too, but I will read it out completely. So let's start. Phil Heath said, Let's not forget what I spoke to you about at the photo shoot after the O. In my video, I clearly said most of the classic physique competitors will most likely move to open bodybuilding and some of them come from other sports backgrounds. I even cl included myself coming from basketball and that I too would have been in classic physique with my height and weight class back then when I started. Calling yourself a weekend warrior is your choice. I suggest you watch the three minute video. Good luck to you. And then um, he said, I think you should, uh, again, Phil Heath, I think you should listen to what I said in the video word for word. Anyone who just got weekend warrior out of that three minutes video has selective hearing. I'm a seven time champion of bodybuilding. I'm pretty clear about what bodybuilding is and what it takes to be on that stage. You take good care. That was a you know comment to our to a, another guy on Instagram. And then I commented um, on Phil Heath's post on not post but uh, writing on Chris Chris Bumstead's post and I said Phil Heath, you know, let's cut your gear into a third and we'll see how you'll look like. It's a matter of how much you want to harm your body and health by growing to the roof like you open, guys. So that was what I said and I want to add into that, I want to add that bodybuilding got to the extreme level where people who have you know, like 3-4% body fat, but still have a gut. You know what I mean? It got so extreme that even with that low of a body fat, they have problems with holding their waist in, holding their stomach in. So for a regular guy, let's say you want to approach a guy to, to start with bodybuilding, and then you go to a pro show to see the best bodybuilders in the world, and you go to the best contest where the best bodybuilders in the planet of Earth compete, and every sec, you know, every second guy um, has sticking has a sticking out gut, and you're like, you know, that's this even it's like a paradox that shouldn't be bodybuilding. It's it's not 
it's not making too much sense for me. It, 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 and when you see those signals, you know, outer appearance signals, uh, I think it's it's a time where you should uh, do something about that. And I think one of the reasons f was, uh, you know, one of the results of that was classic physique to do a more uh, back to the roots type of thing uh, with how it really should look like, you know. With, and I think that classic physique will get stronger and stronger and I think that guys will more likely switch into classic physique from another division than from classic into open. That's what I think. Of course, um, I could be wrong on that, but I think I only could be wrong on that if they would do some adjustments in the open division. I hope I will. I hope they will do it like next year or something. So they will start to, like at the Honor Classic, start to um, put body uh, put posing into as a criteria of judging again, and so the af athletes could emphasize on that more. And when they score posing, obviously, a uh, sticking out gut um, will get downvoted. And should get downwarded. When you have the best bodybuilder on the planet, and he, you know he has problems holding his gut in and everything, or, or even holds up six or something. That's I, I don't think that should be the way it should look like. I think you know, bodybuilding got to extreme, but they're not really that better. You know, I think the '90s guys were much better and have similar muscularity and even if they have a little less muscle it's just the the harmony you know all in all is way better i mean how much you can uh, stretch out a human physique you know what i mean like the guys now do it's it's just hard and i don't think that people will think will like this the crazy thing is that let's say in the 90s uh, people the, the meatheads they they watched bodybuilding and they watched their favorite athletes and they wanted to look like that but nowadays we have the scenario that even the bodybuilding fans themselves don't want to look like a big Rami or a Kai Green and everything or at least a good percentage of them they they more want to look like Chris Bumstead like Arash Rahbar, like uh, Sadiq, they w like the classic physique guys. So, um, and now having them in the Miss Olympia, they will, I think they will more look forward to them. But of course, as of right now, the Mr. Olympia is still the biggest, um, the biggest and most prestigious contest and I'm speaking of the open division of course and I think that they should do a, a couple of adjustments in the Mr. Olympia of course they will not do weight limits but I think they they should I don't know cr uh, critique posing judge posing with the with the apps and everything with the vacuum pose or how you call it and they should put that more in and then what I also want to have is make a round where you do a fa fan favorite thing but uh, maybe I'll do a, a different video about that a, s a separate video but to cut it short um, to make a round where the athletes go up there to the top 10 or something or maybe not the top 10 but the whole lineup you know because a guy could be top 15 and could be the fan favorite so um, they should do something like that so a uh, extra a contest besides the contest a fan favorite contest and like I said highly critique that guts you know and downvote that and, and switch sides a little bit because if people the bodybuilders on stage they will always aim towards the current Mr. Olympia so they have to choose a Mr. Olympia that really uh, has those things okay so that will be very interesting um, 
I think if, let's say when Callum van Morga competes there next year maybe and that the classic physique division will only get more and more interesting it's a fairly new division and it got so much fans right now and it will just m increase more and more so that's that's my two cents and those guys first they don't what I said on Instagram was they don't want to take that much of a ver variety on you know steroids but what I also think is besides that probably they don't want to look like that Jay Cutler for example said at Generation Iron 2 that he the, 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 the size he had in those whole Mr. Olympia contest he didn't want to look like that it was not his uh, perfect package so to say but he had to look like that to get Mr. Olympia and he was more, way more liking his physique when he first started in bodybuilding and got pro and that's really you know you can check it up on Netflix Generation R2 and a lot of people Dennis James too I saw a seminar of him in German language and he said too that uh, when he could um, go to the past again um, he maybe wouldn't aim to get as big as Ronnie Coleman because he um, destroyed his physique a little bit his stomach and everything in aiming you know because his goal was to get as big as Ronnie Coleman and everything so but like I said the, the king was Ronnie Coleman and people wanted to get as big as him or even bigger to do, to win over him so they will always aim towards the current champion so I hope you I didn't um, it wasn't too boring okay I didn't bore you out or how you call it I hope you liked the video subscribe to my channel and if you want to have me talking about those kind of things doing maybe separate videos on separate topics write a comment L first give it a like if you like that but then write a comment on what specific specific sorry man what's that what I should talk specifically about subscribe to my channel bye